Hytale is beautiful. Take a look at this. You're looking at a game that isn't even released yet. It has passionate live developers, dedicated fans, and a promising amount of unpredictability and adventure. Tommy Innit is in on it, Mr. Beast is in on it too, and possibly the entire gaming community is about to witness Hytale in a short while. And you ask yourself, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Hytale is going to release and take on the world? Now, that sounds great and all on the surface, but when you think about it, it is so tragic realizing it, that I almost feel sorry for Hytale and its future. Allow me to explain. Now, like I said, Hytale will be a big deal, but there's a cost. And by cost, I mean a huge sacrifice we all have to collectively make when Hytale finally releases, and these sacrifices are inevitable. Community and ideology. Starting with Hytale's community. Any OG Hytale fan knows very well the Hytale community right now. And everyone can say, this community is amazing. Not perfect, but amazing. Why? Because before Hytale shoots for the stars and releases, we, and by we I mean the community, are a passionate bunch of Hytale nerds, newbies, theorizers, artists, YouTubers, and so forth, who are ready to be on this journey forever. But when the road to Hytale ends and the game finally releases, that is when all hell breaks loose. Dream and his friends and other similar YouTubers will take over the Hytale content pipeline, and all of their fans will ruin the once prosperous Hytale community with toxicity, repetitive content, and all in all cringe ideas of what Hytale is as a game. And it's not that I generally oppose this sort of mindset, I just think that all the Dream fans, Minecraft fanatics, and other gamers will completely miss the point of what Hytale really is. To understand this, I'm going to ask you a simple question. What would you prefer? The good old days of Minecraft that give you never-ending nostalgia of the best time of your life? Or would you prefer today's madness? You would go with the former. That is the point. So if Hytale releases, the internet is not gonna go easy on Hytale, and we may or may not ever get to see an, an unpredictable and beautiful epic sandbox exploration game known as Hytale. It all depends upon the ideas the community infuses into you or how you see the game, through its community or through itself. And from here, I'll jump on to the next point, Hytale's ideology. An ideology is a set of ideas that governs what something or someone believes in or is all about. Now, when I saw the Hytale trailer for the first time in 2018, I had a feeling I never had before in my life. A feeling that this, this is a world that I can traverse and explore, adventure in, venture to the most beautiful landscapes in, uncover countless mysteries in, and face daring challenges in. Hytale felt like a new home that was so welcoming to me and many others, and for that reason, I was stuck with it. The beauty of Hytale's vastness and unpredictability overwhelmed me. This is Hytale's ideology, a welcoming world that is just as wondrous. And that's why I'm here, making Hytale videos for you all and making tons of friends alongside. Hytale's release is no exception to the fact that everything requires a sacrifice, but I just hope we live through it and keep the spirit of Hytale alive forever. Thank you for watching guys, it's been amazing, love you guys, subscribe if you don't mind, and good day.